Following an hour plus weather delay, the Tampa Bay Rowdies came out and took it to the Puerto Rico Islanders 2 to 0. Stay tuned for post game interviews with head coach Ricky Hill, players Mike Ambersley and Frankie Sanfilippo. I felt we, we started the game very brightly. Um, obviously, the delay because of the weather um, could have affected both teams, and I asked our players to try and get out on the front foot and see if we can take the game to them. And over the first period, I felt we, we did, and we created a couple of opportunities. Um, where their keeper was calling to action on a few a few occasions, possibly more than Jeff's. So I wasn't displeased with our performance, but I just felt at times we were a little bit sloppy with our passing coming out of the back. Um, and it could be tighter and it could be cleaner, but I, I guess I'm going to critique everything. What was very pleasing was uh, the shape that we maintained at the back, and we never really looked stretched in, in any real serious trouble throughout the 90 minutes, which is a bonus. And I guess. Um, Jeff might agree that it was possibly one of his quieter evenings where he's had to be called upon. Um, and then obviously as the game opens up a little bit more, as players become a little bit more tired, um, the, the first goal was an excellently created goal. So it showed everything that I've been trying to ask the players to do since I've been here in terms of just having a little bit more patience and a little bit more composure in and around the box and keep changing the angle of the ball, keep moving the ball. And we did that for quite a spell. I don't know how many passes, but quite a spell. Culminating in the ball over to um, Frankie, who's making another run. He makes those runs day, day in, day out, game in, game out, and uh, it was excellently executed by him. So very pleased. It gave the lads a great lift and then it forced Puerto Rico to throw a few more, more forward and be a bit, you know, even more adventurous, shall I say. And, um, you know, we got hit them on the counter-attack with Fafa playing a lovely ball through to Mike and the defence was a little bit high and Mike finished it excellently as well. Yeah, my eyes just lit up and just one time didn't. And, I mean, as a defender, you don't get that many opportunities, but when you score, you definitely, it's, it's a good feeling. I think we're just getting more feel for each other and we're understanding each role in um, D. Scott, Yama and uh, J.P., did very well tonight just covering each other, working for each other, talking, and we just want to make um, Jeff's uh, life easier so he doesn't have to get that many shots on. And so overall, it was a great performance by the defense. Well, Fafa played a ball, and it was uh, kind of in between me and the goalie, and um, I think he thought he might have been able to get to it, but uh, he misplayed it a little bit and he caught himself in no man's land, so I just had to chip it over him. And Luckily, I put enough spin on it to get it in the far yeah. corner. <laughs> when you're watching it, like, trickle and roll, and it's yeah. still Yeah, when I first hit it, I was like, like, oh, that's wide. But then I took a few nice bounces, I guess. We're really moving the ball. Um, I think we're coming out at the start of the first half, and, uh, you know, we're putting teams on their, their back heel a little bit, and that uh, when we do that, it gives us time and space as the game wears on. So, um, and then the second half, we're coming out um, a lot sharper than we did in the first uh, part of the season. So that's a... You know, to get them back on their back heel again, it's, uh, it's a big thing. And, um, you know, towards the end of that half, we finally got the ball on the ground and started moving it a little bit, and then we got a goal. So, Once again, with the Rowdies' 2-0 victory over the Islanders, Tampa Bay vaults past Puerto Rico into second place.